Tom Brady, man, handsome, light skin, long hair. I'm a ladies' man, 80 grand, riding in the Bentley, drop a Zor. I'm the one they adore, they never ignore. I used to be poor, now a nigga hood rich. They used to didn't like me, now I could knock any bitch. I can't stop fucking with hoes, I think I love the drama. I campaign hard, kinda like Obama. Osama been Laden, bitches I been having. Them Haitians, white Puerto Rican bitches, I'm cracking. Who do some like fractions if they acting like they wanna get foggish and leap? Most hoes be dice. I'm a player, nigga, hustle, nigga, jack a nigga. I don't trip off hoes, stay macking, nigga. Ladies is my addiction, I can't. Understand homos, transvestite type niggas rocking my no lows. Go to the club cause there's hoes in there I look grimy but a nigga clean up good James Flames make 10 mil off the hood In the trap with my goons laying down crack Bad bitch in the room and I can't slack Gotta hit it so hard I get my nuts up Rub up that pussy quick cause a nigga fucked up Who said if he love you that he won't cheat Want me to slump with a big ass on the creek I can't stop like a cluck need
commissary and spice them up. That's, that's something I want. Rebel Beats, baby. Second time I went to jail, same thing, gun charge I was getting at him dumb hard, been a suspect at large I knew I was gonna be a shooter, nigga, since some cap guns in the backyard Been booked for assault one, you ain't know if you ain't caught one I was looking at 30 years, I'm just a lucky nigga that I'm fought one Big guns still packed up, still got haters trying to clap them But the judge don't understand, I got a family and I need to protect them And what you ain't know, I ain't going back to jail, I ain't sleeping in that cell I'm doing the most, I know I ain't living well so I might be going to hell So I'ma keep getting my dough Try to put on people I know Till they come to the end of the crowd road. I might go back and I know But there's one thing I know I ain't trying to go back to jail no, no, no. I ain't trying to sleep in that cell Never. I ain't trying to go back to jail no, But I will no. if I have to yeah. I'll do it, do it. I ain't trying to go back to jail if I don't get rich off rap, I'ma mess up and rob a I bank. Will. Cause waking up, hella broke, is something that I really can't, can't take. That's why I'm on the grind every day. Yeah. And I thank the Lord for another day. Cause I'ma get this money one way or another to make sure my daughter's straight. And I will go back to jail, I don't give a fuck. I'ma do what I do cause I don't give a fuck. Yeah. If a nigga try to jack me, I hit him up. I got a doubt of defeat, I ain't giving up. I know this life's all I live, I ain't giving yeah. up. Drop some people on the way, I ain't picking up. Only got one life to live, I'ma live it up. Always be hustling cause my time is limited. And I might go to jail, living wrong consequences, I live with it. Came up from the streets, get a dope sack, I know what to do with it. Will I live to see tomorrow? But there's temptation everywhere I go. And that's one thing that I know. I ain't trying to go back to jail. I ain't trying to sleep in that cell. I ain't trying to go back to jail. But I will if I had to. I ain't trying to go back to jail. Trying to sleep in that cell. I ain't trying to go back to jail. Yeah, but I will if I had to. Yeah. Yeah. Why I ain't trying to think about jail. He too fly, I'm just trying to get mail. If I do get booked, I'ma try to make bail. Cause so called gangsta niggas gon' tell. Nigga sick as hell and not get no mail. No commissary, got a nigga feeling frail. Hard nigga on the street, soft a nigga in the cell. Nigga said he wanna be, so I hit him with the shit. And I ain't trying to get locked up. Fuck the white man trying to have me boxed up. He was asking for it, so he got bucked. Threw my nigga away, then he got buff. Nigga want to live that riding life. Till he get hit with 25 to life. Anybody can shoot a gun like riding bikes. Nigga shooting just for fun, would you sliding like? I ain't trying to see the orange jumpsuit. I'll go back if I have to. If I go Broke, I'll jack you And if it's about the fam, I'll whack you But I'm just trying to live my life, nigga If you want it, I'm a dumb, I ain't fighting, nigga I'm just trying to live my life, nigga I'm just trying to do what's right, nigga But I'm just trying to live my life, nigga I ain't trying to go back to jail No, no, no I ain't trying to sleep in that cell Never I ain't trying to go back to jail No, no, no But I will if I had to, yeah I'll do it, do it I ain't trying to go back to jail
What up, y'all? What up? What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? This is Buck City Kennels Live. We back with another Wake and Bank exclusive. This is 1.81, 1.81. We getting it going, man. I mean, <laughs> I bet you the haters didn't expect this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the haters did not expect this. It's like <laughs> all of your efforts, all of your efforts to even the law, you know, all of the efforts. It came, they came up show. You, you see what I'm saying? That's, and that's a beautiful thing when. When a motherfucking hater come up show because they trying to shortstop your paper route, right? They trying to drop salt in your shit because you do you're doing your thing. People are gravitating to you. You're doing your thing. Somebody has something to say about it, right? <laughs> but we don't want to be the bad guy today. We see what we do, you know. Um, <clears throat> we keep it going. In the woods, four, five, six in the building. Salute early. I had to reschedule. Reschedule a few things. You know, we we're trying to get there, man. We're getting there, man. We just need to be uh polished. We're good, we're just not polished, right? I'm trying to get to that, to the polished level. Let me see. I got my glass over here. It's not it. Every time I shake the desk, I hear the glass. We ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? John Kramer in the building. Salute to you. Everybody hit the like button. Hit the like button while we get up in here on this early wake and bake. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. Hold up. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me do my due diligence and make sure that link is available. You know what I'm saying? Just in case it might have been somebody that had smoke from <laughs> last night or something, you know, had a problem with what I said and we don't want to pull up, you know, <laughs> we don't want to uh, close the door on you. You know, we ain't tripping, but we, you know, we ain't going to close the door on you. You know what I'm saying? At least, you know, at Buck City, they're not going to close the motherfucking door on you. You dig? Uh yeah, now we in here. Julian T in the building. Salute, my brother. Hold up. Just wash my hands. It's kind of on my keypad. Game Dog History Channel in the building. Salute. Boss Man in the building. Salute, my brother. Stone G Outlaw, Memphis Street. Salute. Supreme Excellence in the building. Salute, my brother. Petty Rob in the building. J83 in the building. Bank statement. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's run it up, man. Run it up. Let me get this. Uh, let me get over here, man. Let me get over here and do, do the important things, right? Let me get over here and, and monetize this piece, you know, because <laughs> why not? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not get what's what's I mean they bum they bombard you guys with ads at least you know motherfucker shit get paid for the shit right I ain't even had the uh the swamp lie I didn't even have that one monetized <laughs> it shows man how much I really give a fuck about that. But appreciate you, my brother. Bank statement. You dig? Let me see. I already got Supreme. Uh, hard and Finish Kennels in the building. Salute. You rock in the building. Delhi in the building. Four Man Reckless in the building. Salute. Go Mo Kennels in the building. Salute, my brother. Everybody in the building. Hit the like button. We just, we just getting down the roster, man. We got 41 in there. You know what I'm saying? We should have the like should equal. I mean, if you're in there early, you got to fuck with us. Now, people that get in here late, we might get a few new guys. You know, that's why I encourage you guys to share this channel because the new guys are going to keep this shit going as well. Let me see. Uh, Paul Harris in the building. Salute. 
Dickie Foster early with the super chat. Appreciate you, my brother. Buck City and the chat. You dig? Yes, sir. Patrick Peterson in the building. Salute, my brother. <laughs> oh, you caught one of these waking banks, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. I remember that fucking mic dog I gave your ass. He fucked him off. <laughs> You know I ain't never gonna forget that, man. Thanks for keeping Miss Jade uh, in good health, man. When you when you did the few weeks you and your cutty had her, you know what I'm saying? It was it was every bit of an impact on my journey in this shit. You know what I'm saying? So you fucked that mic dog off, though. I ain't, we we can't let you slide with that. <laughs> it was a puppy. Uh, let's see. Dimitri dots in the building. Salute to Buck City. Keep that heat coming to the chat. Salute. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Dimitri. We're going to keep it coming, man. We're going to keep that pressure. As long as you guys keep the pressure on that like button and subscribe when you come in, you know, we're going to be all right. Everything else is going to pan out. You know, we're going to be able to grow. We're going to have our our, our main core who we started with you know that's important that we uh always remember the people that have been supporting us from day one you know the very first comment you know i'm a i'm gonna go back and see who was the first person to ever comment on my shit ever i'm gonna go back in time you know so i can uh, Cause some people wasn't there, and then you can't go there now because I took the videos down. So, <laughs> but I can still go back to it. <laughs> I just got them all on private, so and I wasn't shit. Nobody was thinking about recording my shit or nothing. You know, taking no clips. You know, you don't know a gift horse if it's staring you in the face, man. Sometimes you you just don't see it. You know, motherfucking gift horse. Talk of the city kennels in the building. Salute. We going in. Late Marshall in the building. We going in, y'all. Going in. We going in. Let's talk about them chains. You know, dogs on chains. This is this is shit that we got to advocate for, y'all, you know, because as we can see, it's getting harder and harder to do such thing, you know, that was, you know, back in the day and before time and, you know, and then a dog was something that you could chain up, you know, and, and not have any problems, you know, uh, then you know even in some spots right now like they don't care as long as, long as the dog has a shelter and fucking uh, a fucking water bowl you know i guess you know that's cool you know and uh they're taking away the privilege to be able to i mean from an economic standpoint to be able to uh have these dogs cost efficiently um of course kennels kennels are gonna probably save you more space i've seen spots that they don't like the five by tens so they're they're clamping down on the size of the kennel like any any human being would agree that a five by ten kennel is I wouldn't say more than enough space, but decent enough space for your dog, you know. You know. Ah, uh, he laughing. Patrick Peterson laughing. <laughs> you know what it is. Paris Jackson, salute my brother. We in here. We in here. Okay, so... <laughs> You know, a five by ten, they're they're starting to not be enough. That's a problem. 
Okay. When you go spend four hundred dollars, three fifty, four hundred dollars on a on a goddamn five by ten, and you got it on deck boards or you got it on cement or whatever you you know what I'm saying whatever you using on your yard, and then they say that it's not enough or it needs to be bigger. What that's telling me is that they want. They want you to spend more money. Okay. The price of dog food has skyrocketed. The price of everything has skyrocketed. He said, man, they want. 10 by 20 per dog. Addition 10 per dog. Had to get from them parts. Man, I hope, I hope, I hope you're not saying they want a 10 by 20 per dog, bro. Addition 10 per dog. Man, I hope I'm understanding that right, bro. I hope well actually I hope I'm not understanding that right. Okay. So, you know, we gotta we gotta stand up and be a voice for this shit, man. I mean, I, I'm serious, bro. And I, you might see me at one of these motherfucking spots where if I find out where they talking about this shit and where I need to be, where they're having a discussion about this type of shit. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it, man, because you, your voice has to be heard. We all know that the dog is, the, the dog is going to be safer on the chain than, than pretty much anything, depending on what type of dog it is. It's going to be a hell of a lot harder for him to get off of that chain than it would be for him to get out of that kennel. So this is what we got to deal with. They're trying to get in our pockets when you could just go spend you a couple hundred dollars and you might be able to get four chain spots. You know what I'm saying? For a hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars. Now you looking at getting 10 by 10, them joints might be five, seven hundred dollars. If you want a, a nice one. Then we got these nosy ass neighbors. OK, you got to you got to understand they're giving neighbors more. Rights than anything, I guess, more. And they don't give a fuck. Like, let's say the neighbor does go on your yard and shit. Everybody talking about, oh, yeah, that's illegal. That, you know, that's a trespassing charge, bro. That's a fucking trespassing charge. Okay? They're going to flip your truck up. And when it comes to these dogs, it's very... You got to be wise how you deal with it, man, because they're going to put the dog, they're going to lock the dogs up. You're not going to have access to them. Depending on how long the case go, you know, they're going to be charging the shit out of you. Then if you fork out that bag, they're going to put the IRS on your ass. They're going to do everything that they can do to criminalize you when it comes to these these dogs. Yeah. Yeah. They they don't man them damn charge they go uncharged. Oh, well 10 by 10 with a top on it. Okay. Yeah, 10 by 10. I mean, to me that's 
the five by 10 would be more cost efficient. Okay, 10 by 10, I understand, we'll adapt to it. But what's next? Is the 10 by 10 gonna be too small? If it's if it's nine, if it's nine inches in, I mean nine fucking nine feet in 10 inches, am I gonna get in trouble? You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of them they say 10 feet, but they be like an inch off and shit. Shit be off and shit. Depending on how you got the bracket set, you know, it's you're gonna get different measurements. Okay. So what are we doing? A 10 foot chain gives you more diameter than a 10, a 10 by 10. Okay. You're getting a way longer diameter. From the center. 10 by 10 from the center, you're not getting much diameter at all. You know, you go to the smack center. You know, you're looking at five feet. Distance from the center to the edge. On both sides. If you got a 10 foot chain, on the other hand. You know, you're getting at least 10 feet on every 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 side. From east to west, that's 20 feet right there. From north to south, that's 20 feet. You know, you might have a let's say you got the house on the north side. So you're going to you're going to break break a little bit down because of the house and, you know, whatever, because, you know, he ain't going to be just unless he jumps on top of his house. Some of them do. You know, but you're going to have him enough room so he can get to the back of his house. You know, and and that's going to be a great diameter, I think. And that was a tree hugger move, even turning it into 10 foot chains laws. We didn't fight back from that. OK, so fuck it, we get the 10 foot chain law. OK, now you can't have chains no more. Right. You would think, OK, fuck it. They want 10. All right. We're going 12 on all of them. We're going 12 feet on all of them. Final final order. Now they don't want chains anymore. Now they're doing something else. And we always look at it like, oh, it's just Texas. It's just this. It's just that. When one state does it. They figure out the blueprint on how to get another state to do it. That's what that, I mean, one state doing it is too much. One ban on these dogs is too much. One tree hugger looking over your fence, taking videos and shit, sending them in, crying and shit with goddamn handkerchiefs and shit all up at your court date with handkerchiefs and fake crying and shit. But then we got homeless motherfuckers that don't got nowhere to go. Babies out here sleeping in tents and shit. Mothers having babies on fucking fentanyl and shit. People dying up in the jail. You know, they bringing dope up in the fucking jail. Motherfuckers taking fentanyl and shit up in jail. They calling cold reds and cold blues and shit guards and shit running down the hallway and shit hitting motherfuckers with narcan and shit but they're worried about some fucking dogs okay these tree huggers <laughs> the shit that they do like, go get a man. <laughs> and some of these women, I swear, you know, they came up to the courtroom and shit. You know, I, I was just laughing at these funny looking motherfuckers, honestly. You know, if you ask like, hey, Buck, what was on your mind? You know, <laughs> I was just laughing at these motherfuckers. Half of them looked like they ain't had a fucking man in goddamn 30 fucking years. 
Okay. Then you're looking at me like, bitch, what the fuck you looking at me for? Get your motherfucking ass up out of here. You know? Every goddamn court date up here, and then you got motherfuckers playing with ch kids and shit. You know, you ain't up here for they goddamn court date. You're taking up seats for everybody else. But but this motherfucker right here done did some malicious ass shit. Ain't no, that shit ain't all over the fucking news. That shit's not all over the fucking news. You know what I'm saying? Something that's important. You know, because the fucking tree hugger ass neighbor said that, oh, this might be a dog fighting operation. They got dogs and shit. So then all of a sudden you run it, kicking motherfuckers door down for that. But you can't find the motherfuckers that did this shit. You know, he did that. He did this. You can't find his ass. Out of shape ass goddamn animal control motherfuckers. <laughs> you motherfuckers don't do shit sitting outside of donut shops and shit. I be seeing you motherfuckers. <laughs> they thought they could keep a motherfucker forever. You know, that's what the fuck they thought. You know, let's fuck up somebody's life. You know, it ain't got shit to do with it. They don't know one dog. You ask them what's one of the dog's name. They don't know none of them motherfuckers. They couldn't point the motherfucker out in a lineup. Because they didn't give a fuck. As long as they can stop a motherfucker from doing what the fuck he love to do, that's all they give a fuck about. You know. <laughs> Dogs on goddamn chains. That's what we're talking about right now. Dogs on fucking chains. The safest thing that it could be on. And then we got all these dogs running around biting motherfuckers and shit. How many motherfuckers been getting bit when since the dog since the chain laws got changed? Do they do studies on that type of shit? Since they let the since they trying to stop chain laws and all this shit, you can't do the, all this tree hugging and shit. How many motherfuckers done been fatally bit by fucking dogs? That's what we need to be covering. Motherfucker talk about they want to be a motherfucking journalist. Cover that shit. Cover these motherfucking laws and shit that got us fucked up. Why the fuck do the prosecutor and why the fuck do they get to make up so many fucking lies before they go up in court? And why can't they keep it 100? Let's report that type of shit. Why don't they face any type of scrutiny? Why don't they lose their job from lying, making false statements and shit? Why isn't there no accountability? Why do they get to make a hundred lies up about you, but nothing gets, nobody's held accountable for nothing. If you make one fucking lie, they throw your ass under the fucking bus. These motherfuckers lie a hundred times and there's no repercussions, no nothing. Let's report that. Some of these dog men starting to look like tree. You know, they got leaves and shit hanging out their pockets and shit, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Some of these dog men, I don't know, man. They're starting to look like tree huggers. Tree huggers, get the fuck out of here. Because I think they think they could just sit around and just, you know, get your tree hugging ass up out of here. You're going to get tired of watching my shit. Get your tree hugging ass the fuck up out of here. We don't fuck with tree huggers over here. We don't fuck with nosy ass neighbors over here. If you're a nosy ass neighbor, you've been looking in somebody's yard, trying to find something wrong with shit. Get your motherfucking ass up out my chat. Right now, 
You dig? You ain't going to just sit up in here all oh, little Just just sit around and see if they're talking about dog fighting. We ain't talking about dog fighting, bitch. Fuck, we going to be stupid to talk about dog fighting. Hit that like button. Bank Savings said there's 20 tree huggers in the shit. Hit that button. Come on, man. Let's get it going. <laughs> they look it, man. Peekaboo ass motherfuckers looking over fences and shit. This is what this channel is about. Looking over motherfuckers' fences and shit. Looking like a, a peeping time ass motherfucker. You wasn't looking at my dogs. You's a peeping time motherfucker. Set your cameras up, fellas. Set your cameras up so you can prove your innocence. Set your cameras up. Okay? You know, we're not doing anything with these goddamn dogs. You got to catch us doing shit, man. All this circumstantial bullshit. Circumstantial my ass. Bullshit. Ain't nobody doing nothing. I wake up, I do my podcast, I take care of the, the rest of the things I got to do today. Ain't nothing illegal going on. Ain't nothing illegal going on. But they'll turn it into something. We can start talking about whatever. I can start talking about whatever. What does that mean? What does it mean? And that's what I mean when I say we don't have no rights. There's bigger fish to fry. The day when we can't talk about what the fuck we want to talk about, everybody else has the freedom of speech. We can't talk about what the fuck we want to talk about, though. That's all I'm saying. You know. So these nosy ass neighbors, you ain't doing shit. Go show a picture of you at a motherfucker's court date that violated a child. Show me that. See, they'll show a motherfucker like me, post my shit. And we're going to find, I'm going to go find them articles and shit. We're going to go through the chat. We're going to see if some of these motherfuckers got that same energy and shit. Since it's, all, it's public, everything's public. Everything is public. I got the freedom of speech. You got motherfucking sheriffs and shit on there talking about what they going to do to me and shit. You got all kind of motherfuckers, bro. You know, immature motherfuckers. You know, immature motherfuckers. Guy looked like he worked for the fire department and shit on there talking about, yeah, I want to catch him in a back alley and shit. <laughs> and what would you do, motherfucker? I'm going to go through them comments and see what motherfuckers really was talking about. What, what, what would you do? What would you do? If you saw me in the back alley, it's just me and you, okay? What, what would you do, homie? What the fuck would you do? Exactly, nothing. You wouldn't do, you wouldn't do shit, you know? And we got a lot of motherfuckers that talk a lot of shit and won't do shit. the wake and bake man what you guys smoking on punch them like buttons <laughs> you know what it is we're gonna go in we're gonna go in you know what i'm saying we're gonna go in that's what that's what i know i know we're going in <laughs> you dig fuck what you heard like a dick in your ear you know fuck what you heard like a dick in your ear motherfucker you know whatever you heard Fuck what you heard. We know what Buck City. We got Buck. We got motherfucking Buck. You feel me? Now you go be great. It's your turn. Go be great. I kicked the door down. What else do you want me to do? What else do motherfuckers want me to do? I kicked the fucking door down. I showed you, man. Have some resistance. They can't, everybody ain't going to lose. Somebody going to win. 
And when you win, sue the fuck out them motherfuckers. Just like they tried to get you for everything you got, get them for everything that they got. Punitive damages, everything. Emotional distress, all that. Go after them motherfuckers. They take your shit. They don't get no conviction. Go after them motherfuckers. They lucky they caught me, you know, on the back end. They caught me on the back end. If they would have caught a young Buck City, it would have been a whole nother ball game, buddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it would have been a whole different ball game. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, I don't support that shit. I don't support tree huggers. I wouldn't give a fuck if a tree hugger was on looking over my enemy's fence. I would never condone that shit. You know what it is, man. I stand on that. I stand on this shit as an individual, as a guardian of the breed, as a man. You know, I will never, never. Because if I'm going to handle it, I ain't going to talk, man. I'm going to tell you, man, there ain't nothing for me to say. There ain't nothing for me to say. Everybody in the building, man. Appreciate everybody in the building, man. Bang that like button. It's the morning show. The morning show, you know, it ain't going to, especially the first hour. You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to. My expectations, though, man, I'm trying to have a thousand in the motherfucking chat. I'm trying to have a chat so going so fast. I got to slow the motherfucker down because it's just buzzing. Binging up off the screen to where I got to plug my computer up just to keep the charge on this bitch. That's how that's how cracking I want it to be. Getting it in, man. Jesse Adams in the building. Salute. Let me see. GP in the building. Salute, my brother. South Georgia Combine. Salute. Hades, the pocket bull. Salute to you. D West, salute, my brother. Yeah, we in here, man. We in here. We in here, man. But on the other note, so we know that the neighbors are there. We can't get mad at, and we got to coexist. We got to live. You're going to get a nosy-ass neighbor. And you never know, man, them sneaky motherfuckers, you know, they'll tell on your ass. So with that being said, you got to keep your shit clean, man. And not only just a dog taking a shit, bro, you got to you got to make sure that your yard's in order, man. You got to make sure that that you're doing the right shit. You know, they didn't like me. You know, my yard was done. I had the beauty bark and shit out in the front and shit. You know, a couple little shrubs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Little Japanese maples and shit. You know what I'm saying? I like to... My mom, growing up, she used to always have a yard on, on point. So, I wasn't going to go like she do, but I wanted the grass with the beauty bark, with the plants. You know, I wanted my shit straight. And, uh, you know, so they're just like you know <laughs> who is this motherfucker you know what i'm saying just me and my little little ass kids you know at the time you know five years later fast forward five years everybody was was young you know the oldest one in this house was in the goddamn ninth grade i had an eighth grader that's out of school now you know what i'm saying and then the boys they was really young 
you know, and then the other one wasn't even here. The baby wasn't even here. So we was a pretty young, beautiful family, you know, pulling up, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, that's going to, it's going to get some eyeballs. You're going to get some eyeballs up in there, you know what I'm saying? But that's what it do, man. You just got to know know what's up, man, and, and do your preventative measurements to where you could have success. You could fly up under the radar, even if you're not doing shit, bro. It's just not, it's not cool to, to have people in your shit. If they can't see it, it's, it's better off for you. I'm telling you, you know, because a hater is only going to hate on what they can see. Before you moved in that house, they didn't give a fuck about you or what the fuck was, what, who cares about that house? They didn't give a fuck. But as soon as the motherfucker move in there, now they mad. Now they seeing your situation. Now they, you know, trying to play the measuring stick and, you know, trying to do this. Law enforcement be the same way, you know, especially them animal control motherfuckers. You know, I ain't never met a happy or good looking woman one ever. You know, they might be out there somewhere. I, I just haven't. You know, they 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 look like dudes, you know, straight up. Um, and just yeah, yeah, that's definitely unattractive. So they are they're gonna tend to be hating on you too if you got your shit going on, you know, especially if it's that breed. They got they got a real issue when it comes to the American Pit Bull Terrier. They do. They got a major, major issue. And if they get some tree huggers that will call them and say, yeah, he's doing this. Yeah. You know, they got the number and shit and they talk all the time. And, and you know what I'm saying? They're going to figure out a way to come and get you, bro. You know, I wouldn't doubt that there was a the the drone guy, Mr. Mr. Drone guy. I would not doubt that. He was corresponding back and forth with animal control while he was doing his little three-day or four-day little shit, creeping around and shit, coming by at night, creeping by in the daytime, you know, coming by. Mind you, this motherfucker's address was more than 50 miles away from where the fuck I was. So while they made it seem like it was a neighbor, it, it wasn't no fucking neighbor, bruh. It, this shit, this shit was a plant. This was a fucking plant, bro. I'm telling you. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to get to the motherfucking bottom of it. I swear, you know, um, got a few issues that I got to bust down. Of course, it's going to be expensive as shit. But, you know, the fight is still, is still on. Because if I prove any of that shit, boy, <laughs> boy, oh boy. You dig? Um, it's going to be a beautiful fucking day in the city. You dig? Um, but yeah, watch out, man. Nosy neighbors, you got them. You do that. You know, you're leaving. You're doing your shit. You, you know, watch who you're fucking with, man. Watch who you're fucking with. Everybody that's cheering ain't on your team, though. You know, they might not be cheering for your team. They cheering for somebody else on another team. You know, they're not cheering for your team. So you got to be mindful and just know everything that that's glitter ain't gold. And these tree huggers, they're going to try to get you, bro. They're going to try to get you. You know, you got these dogs. You see what they look like. Like if they see this dog, I'm going to tell you, this is, and we'll look, we look. You know, this dog looks great. You know, we've been talking about this dog all week for the accomplishments, the ADBA champion, you know, Michael Myers line. You know, if they see this, let's say you got five dogs that look like this, boy, 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 you, you in trouble. You in motherfucking trouble, man. And that's, that is the problem. And this is what I'm going to bring to the world so that people can see that this is what this dog looks like in his top shape. 
you know, and and this is what the dog looks like. And it's not because we're fighting the dog. It's because this is this is not a fat dog. It's not supposed to be obese, morbidly obese. You dig? Thompson, what up? You on you on mute. You got your mute, your mute joint on. You figure it out. Yeah, but you know, this is this is what they supposed to look like, though. You know, and and if they see this, they'll say that your dog was emaciated and shit. They'll say, Yeah, he was a one. He was a emaciated, you know, that's what they would say. And I and I did this. I was like, okay, so you got your little scale one through eight or nine or whatever, uh, uh, four and five being normal, uh, two, one and two, you know, being emaciated. I said, okay, so what do you, what do you, uh, say this dog is not this dog on the screen, but it was one that probably wasn't draw down. Yeah. I mean, you know, this bitch is, she's, she's down, you know, they got her you can see every muscle in her body. You know, she's she's looking down there. And there was another one similar, but I wouldn't say even looked as good as her. And I asked, I was like, okay, well, um, what do you what do you say this dog is right here? You know what I'm saying? And then I had the 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 magazine with that dog on the cover. Like, you know, if that dog was emaciated, you know what I'm saying, it wouldn't be on the cover of the of the magazine, you know what I'm saying? This is the, the breeding standard. And, uh, you know, I got her on video saying that she didn't even know she wasn't familiar with the breed, you know? And then she made lies about, um, um, her being involved with, the, uh, with, um, weight pulling. She was involved with weight pulling and I asked her what was the establishment that she was doing, and she didn't know. She did. She couldn't answer that. You know, you're lying, Thompson. What up? Uh oh, you got that that Boost Mobile. That Boost Mobile's kicking in. Oh, this might be a troll. You dig? Hit the like button. Hit the like button. We're going in. I hear my little dude. He's, he's cranking up. He's starting to crank up. I like to work.
dogs. Y'all know what's happening. Bitch, I stay chatting. In your apartment, in the hallway, traffic in. I'm moving weight. My pockets looking big. And you don't work. Your pockets looking thin. I'm getting twice the money. As if I had a twin. I'm all about money. You can tell I get it in because I work. Like an arcade, my money is okay. okay. I'm so free, no AJ. AJ. Free wages like Ricky. Your okay. money so iffy. iffy. Paint job is peanut. Yeah. I'm so butter, no jiffy. jiffy. Bread like jam, bitch. Yeah. I'ma jam. make it spread quick. Jam. Talking jam. about big chips. I'ma need a forklift. Fork Push weight, weight room. Mm. Seeing what the weight do. Yeah. Feels like I'm playing yeah. chess, so I'ma make a great move. Great. I'ma do a great stream. Fall like Ali Hoops. I'ma play like. I came up pushing dimes 24 7 I'm working every day 24 7 I'm working every day Work Like a 9 to 5 Or a 10 to 6 I came up pushing dimes 24 7 Yes, sir. You know what it is. You know what it is. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. We still getting it. Oh, them looky loos, huh? They looking, man. They spectating. They spectating. Yeah. <laughs> chat be going crazy man we got the best chat we got the best chat john denbury in the building royal heart free we almost to that hour hit that like hit that like and we i mean we're gonna power up or we you know what we gonna do <laughs> what we gonna do we, I mean, 68, you know, that's not even fast. 67, you know, that my grandma drive faster than that. Let's get it. Let's get it up. Let's get the stream up and let's get it going. You dig? All this free game. You dig? All this free, free good game that we got. So what is it about these chain laws, though? What is it? What are we doing? Hit the subscribe if you're coming in. You know, you ain't gotta. I mean, we the troop over here. Just ask the chat. You know, we the troop. You wonder if this is the the real channel because it might be. It might be a lot of uh, uncertainty. You know, especially if you're new to these spaces, and I get it. You know, there's some motherfuckers that I thought was real in this shit, you know. It happens, man. It happens to the best of us. Some of us men know, you know, it might be a woman in your life that you thought was real, you know, for years or whatever, months. You know, it happens. You feel me? Repost that link, huh? Yeah. 
There go that link, man. Yes, sir. Yo. You right there? Man, you ain't getting no sound, bro. <laughs> I see you took the mic off. I don't I don't hear you at all though. Well, now you're on mute now. Yo. It hates it. Hey, hey. It, <laughs> that boy said boost mobile iPhone. <laughs> hey, man, get them ads in. Get them ads in, man. Get them ads. The boat's going to leave. <laughs> uh oh, there you go. There you go. I heard you, man. Yeah, your shit, man. Thompson, man, you must be at the edge of the moon, bruh. He said, oh, they only going to show up as somebody gets a complaint. Yeah, that, that's what anybody. <laughs> but a complaint, a complaint ain't, sh that's easy. And yeah, you know, some people, you know, they live in these other areas and shit. I get it, you know. Like I if, if I got me a neighbor that mind his own fucking business, that'd be great. You know. Yo. You there? You know, get a neighbor that mind his own fucking business. That's that's the neighborhood I want to be in. I, I can handle everything else myself. Mind your own fucking business. You know I got some dogs over here. You know, so it's my my spot is not the spot to be at anyway. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, you know. Yeah, the probably yeah, exactly, you know. But, you know, in the other case, dude had a fence. You know, they, I mean, it was a big-ass operation in, in that yard. You know, I admit. But, you know, they just going to look over the fence. You know what I'm saying? Like, here, you can, uh, I think you can only have, like, a six-footer, if I'm not mistaken. And then I think you can go like eight feet on certain parts or, you know, different different regulations. Uh, I think in the front, it's got to be, uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, man, I'm telling you that 10 foot fence, they're looking over shit, man. <laughs> a nosy, you can't stop a nosy motherfucker. You can't stop a nosy dog. So how you going to stop a nosy ass human? You know, that just wants to look over there. They always looking over there. They see the shit, you know, the way it looks. It might be clean. It might be neat. You might have everything symmetrical. You know, everything's all nice. Lined up neat. Now, like I said, I've been seeing a lot of good dog yards getting they shit snatched. A lot of yards, a lot of beautiful fucking setups, dream setups. You know, and they getting their dogs snatched too. You know. Yeah, property with two or more acres. Definitely two or more. Two or more is nice. Definitely. 
you know, I, I can't disagree with that. But and then again, it's the best to keep motherfuckers out your shit, but you still got to be be on it. Oh, yeah. And them, them motherfucking drones, boy. <laughs> Carl Richard, man, the drone. That's the that's the thing when it comes to the drone. The drone is so easy to use, bro. It doesn't take a smart motherfucker to, to fly these little motherfuckers. It doesn't. So if you get a smart motherfucker that knows how to get down and get all zeroing in on your shit, you know, to where they be 4K, they'll zoom down and see the scars and everything. They'll go on your yard, see the scars and everything. And yeah. They might, they might, you might uh beat the shit when it comes to, you know, you got a lawyer and they, they know the they ins and outs and you might fucking beat that, that part. But the fact that they turned your shit upside down, took all your shit, you know, you weren't going to beat the, they, you beat it on technicalities. They got you red handed with dogs chained up and shit. A lot of times it'd be in spots they ain't supposed to have chains. You know, we and we still doing it, still doing it, you know, so. Just, you know, you, and you never know because you just don't think of shit like that. Like, I was fucking shocked. You know, I seen the little bra. I was like, huh? <laughs> I was like, miss what? I'm like, nah, you motherfuckers. You, nah, nah. She popped her ass up like I said, man, you motherfuckers got a search warrant to <laughs> share a little ass busted in between them. I'm like, yeah, we do, and put it on my chest. <laughs> I looked at it, looked at her. I'm like, what really? Really? You know, like really from our conversation we had, you know, like seriously, like. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know, you know, but then you don't know. So you don't say nothing, you know. And, uh, you know, it could be phone calls, anything, conversations. Uh, they tapping phone lines, you know. For all of y'all that just think that keeping it off of social media, I think social media got, got people this false sense of uh, protection. Uh, it's like, okay, if I don't put it on social media, it's cool. Or if I don't put it on social media, they're not going to tap my motherfucking phone and listen to my conversation, all this shit back and forth. You texting, you know, all this shit, you know, you could get your ass caught up. It, it could get deep. It could get deep and, and they don't pick and choose over who it gets deep. You know, it's just, you get a certain amount of investigators on your shit and they got a certain amount of rank and a certain amount of power and they're going to turn your shit into into the big shit you know and then you got some dudes you know they just kind of fly under the radar and just kind of you know keep it kind of on the wraps you know and it, it don't hit the it don't hit fire that's why it's important not to post people shit on on facebook and shit you know it's some so-called real dog men that do that shit and i swear you know yeah <laughs> we ain't talking about making video video making videos is off already off the scale but you know motherfucker that think you know it's just cool just to post shit on facebook and that's the biggest social fucking like what do you what do you post something that you want to get the most attention? Like if I wanted to post something right now, and you know, where would I post it? What what would it be like? Twitter, you know, like what would it be? Facebook, you know, like what's the biggest shit? Is Facebook the biggest shit? You know, so some of these dudes they think like they're doing a small favor, but really you're just making shit big, bro. 
You making shit big, fucking shit up. Yeah, since social media has been hard to get these out of these dogs. Yeah, you know, but you know, honestly, they they was doing that chain law shit before social media, though. Kinda. I mean, well, yeah. I guess you could say, yeah. But but because yeah, social media was around. You know, we I mean, we can go back to MySpace. But they always had other little apps and different shit. Like right now, they got different little social medias. There's so much shit out here. So I guess I guess you could say when social media, because because of that time, that's definitely when it, it's getting hard. But I wouldn't say that it's. I mean, shit. Social media got a big ass impact. So yeah, I I don't know know if I even want to. Uh, argue with that one, bro. I'm gonna have to say you absolutely fucking right, bro. You know, rather if it's Twitter, or, you know, whatever they, you got these dogs on here, and then people just, we innocent. That's how we know.
Yep, we ain't going nowhere, man. We ain't going nowhere. Roll up. Roll up. Roll up. While I'm doing that, I had the uh a clip from the Saturday stream. I, I did uh one that was actually pretty old. Got seven, eight RAM on there, Eli. Uh we was chopping it up about mothers and getting ready for a big litter and different things. There was a lot of good perspectives that I felt that we could go over and, and chop up on this one right here. So while we rolling up, I'm going to get a little clip of that. Shanti, salute. Say, what's good, Bulldog fam? Salute, fam. Salute, fam. We in here. We in here. Getting it going, getting it going. Now that was good insight right there. Uh, let me get back over here. Um, planning for extra large litter. You know, let's just say, you know, you duck the female, you know, you maybe thought, you know, maybe last time, you know, she, she barely, uh, she was barely showing and she had five or six, you know what I'm saying? And, and now, now her stomach is low. So you know, you know there's about eight or ten of them in there. You know what I'm saying? And uh what do you what are some of the things you'll do when you're planning for that big litter? Or 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 is it anything you do different? Is it you know, yeah, or anything, you know. For me, a female, I always treat a female different when they're pregnant. For one seven eight and brought this up before that building that relationship with them before they get ready to have it have litters because bitches are hormonal you know their hormones switch when they had a litter that postpartum stress it's, it's real even in dogs so i myself would be building that relationship with them to where i have that trust factor with them real good i'm the same area like two weeks before it's time or a week and a half before it's time for them to have pups that area that they're going to have the pups in, I already started putting them in that area. And I start spending time with them in that area, sitting down with them, rubbing them, loving on them, talking to them and everything, you know, getting getting them situated to know I'm going to be in this area with you too, you know. Then uh, uh, for two, I like uh, two weeks out from the due date of that 56 to 63 days, Two weeks out from the days, and it can be as far as 70 days, too. Because, like you say, it's, it's, it's like we were saying before, 56 to 63 is the average gestation uh, period. But you have that period where sperm actually uh, 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 lives from three to seven days. So if it's seven days and you count 63, you can go up to 70 sometime. But for me, two weeks away from that 56 mark, I like to worm them out real good. I like putting uh, uh, a nice diet with oatmeal, fiber, and everything in there, all the oils, essential vitamins. I like like pit tabs and pit calves or, or, or NuVet. You know, I like putting the, giving them a good vitamin structure in there for good bones and everything, calcium and all that for the puppies. And just building, building them up and making sure that they got enough weight on them to carry through the pregnancy where they're building enough milk, you know, start getting them some some goat milk in their system right then and there you know two or two weeks out or so start adding it to their food making sure they're building good colostrum and their milk and everything you know another thing a week out running a cycle of uh, uh cephalix and a uh, doxycycline or amoxicillin to prevent mastitis you know uh making sure they clean making sure they uh uh uh, uh sleeping area is good and these pups come out and they and they really they're good and healthy they're good and develop. They're good and form. You know, those yeah. those are the things for me. Yeah, yeah. What about you, seven eight? Uh, for the the one question again, bro. It's a big litter. Uh, yeah, planning for an extra extra large litter. Yeah, man. <clears throat> I would say like you know, uh, yeah, like you say, build the relationship with the with the with the bitch, man, and and decide whether you're going because I'm in Wisconsin, so. I got to, you know, decide whether I'm having the dogs in the house or uh, outside, what time, type of years, what time of year it is and shit like that. Uh, 
and I always get my backup stuff, supplies, in case I have to uh, bottle feed uh, puppies. You know what I mean? I always have that stuff on deck just in case the mama be on some bullshit and she don't want want to uh, deal with uh, all them puppies. You know, so um, you know, usually what we do is rotate them. If if, I, if she has like ten puppies or something, you know, we'll put like five of them down there, and uh, she let me take five, other five for a few hours, and then rotate them. You know, do it that way and shit like that. You know, so that the, uh, get the mom a little break and shit, won't feel overwhelmed and shit. You know, but you know, usually I just I prepare for them the same way. Whether uh, she she look like her belly is three times the size it's supposed to be, or whatever, like it's gonna be a huge litter or a regular litter, I always make sure I got stuff on deck for bottle feed just in case. Yeah, yeah, no, that's real good. That's real good. Yeah, I uh, you know, you know, I uh, that uh, the, the uh, colostrum, you know that. That powder supplement colostrum stuff that they sell. I forget the mm -hmm. brand. Uh, you know, it's that tractor supply. And you don't need a big thing of it. it. You know, it's for the first 48 to about 72 hours of uh of life, you know. I I've seen that just be good just to do. Like if you if you're hands on, let's say you clean them up or something or give her a little, take her out to use the bathroom, depending on how you're doing it. You know, sometimes the mother could be in a kennel or, you know, but if you're bringing her in, you know, you take her out. And it, like, granted that if she is letting you mess with the pups and everything's cool you know, about that, um, go in there and give them all a, a CC or a half a CC a, a colostrum you know even if they fat you know i do that anyway i noticed that it, it just helps out it, it takes more stress off of her and and more stress off the pup because they get some free food you know that they didn't have to work for you know and uh obviously you know you got to have the, the regular goat's milk too just in case something could happen you know it's, it's it's easier to just go in there and grab the shit than it is to you know you scrambling going back to the store back to the store you know you might take three four trips to the store and asking all kind of questions and getting on facebook asking everybody what they think and you know what i'm saying i mean uh, you know if you already have some of these things on deck you know it, it, that'd be good. Uh, rotating them is good. Um, you know, like that, that two weeks before, before they drop, warm them out, you know, with something, um, Nemex or something. I, I use like a Nemex that way. I don't even have to, you know, I don't have to worry, give her the right amount, you know, it's pretty light, you know, uh, now that that works pretty good helps out and just monitor monitor those puppies each and every one of them you know if you can but sometimes you you know you have one over there you know he ain't growing you know he starting to get dehydrated on you you know and you, that probably one that you could have just gave him a couple of teas of goat's milk you know three times a day you know and he he probably would have been fine. So never think that everything is gonna go smooth and just be ready to help her out with the uh with the labor and everything, make sure everything's comfortable for her. Walk her out significant amount. Um, you know, like the last week and you know, if you can walk her during the pregnancy, you know, that's fine too. You know, you don't want to walk her uh, in certain areas to where she can bring back diseases and shit back to the nest. But if there's a way to get her out and get her moving you know, so that those puppies can rotate around and, you know what I'm saying, they're all, you know, I, I, I've seen I've seen that pay, pay good dividends, me doing that versus me not doing that, you know. 
mean, right. you never know why, but when things go wrong, you know, you got a checklist of shit. You know, I mean, if you call me, I'm, I got a checklist in my head of shit. And I'm going to just go down the list and ask you, like, did you do this? Did you warm a mat? Mm-hmm. Did, you out? did you walk her before you fucking, you know, I got a whole list of shit. That's the big thing, walking them dogs while they play them. Don't let their muscles go still. You said some, you, mm-hmm. hey, you gave some magic on that one because a lot of people just let them sit around. You need to walk yeah. from pregnant dogs. Yeah, because a lot of times when they people say, uh, yeah, my bitch, she laid on them, she laid on them. You know, that's because, of course, she's going to gain weight. Um, you don't want her to get, like, obese, but you want her to gain weight. And then uh, the lack of walking her, you know, like you said, make those muscles go dead. So she's not going to have the ability to maneuver as much. And then depending on the space that you have her in, you know, she needs to be strong, you know, to to mm-hmm be up on you know all night and shit pushing and you know what i'm saying you know you, you don't want no no bitch that don't never walk around you know to trying to pull that type of shit off you know what i'm saying yeah hey i just want to say something i, I see something everybody always do when we come in these groups they always ask about like specific dogs and stuff i seen somebody ask about Ario and casper and black and Vito. Man, one thing I, I I try not to do, but I have my own personal experience with certain dogs and certain uh, stuff, and the pros and cons are like there for any bloodline, any dog, any dog man. They have different dog men have different experiences with different people. So one of those things when y'all ask those questions, the y'all gotta realize that everybody have a different experience with dogs and different people. When you come in here, if you interested in something, the best way to get your experience with it is to be around it, be hands on with it, or to be around people that have it. You know, I may have a different experience than somebody. You can't just go off of my word and say that, oh, Eli said that them dogs ain't uh, them dogs ain't worth nothing. You know, Eli said this, Eli said, no, don't go off my experience, man. I can give you all, all I can give you is my experience. And then I don't want to, I don't want to put nothing negative on nobody. That's what I don't learn in my years over dogs. I try not to be negative at all towards people's stuff. I try to get my honest opinion, but if I get my honest opinion and you don't dig it, just say that that's Eli experience with the dogs. You know, that I, I, for one on the Oreo case, I don't know nothing about Casper on Oreo. I, I don't have the best experience with his, his with his hounds. I don't know the most about it, but I see every time I come in here, that's one of those things that start to get asked about the Oreo hounds because they know I got something close to being bred of, uh, like his owner, cool ass dude. You know what all of the, uh, uh, what uh, what all entails around that dog and all of that stuff. I don't know everything about that dog. I know all them animals and everything didn't necessarily go to all the best uh, uh, homes at first, the most experienced dog men, because they were being sold. And when you put a dollar on something, it is what it is. They go to anywhere, you know. Whatever you get back from it, that's what you get back from it. It's all. It doesn't entail the best of what that dog produces. So when I first, my first encounters with that dog, those dogs were in the hands of any and everybody from around any any kind of way. You can't say what that dog produced the whole way. Him himself, when I seen him, he was on the shot. He had a bad air. He was short, sawed off. He wasn't the most agile looking dog. So all of that right there outside his pedigree kind of detoured me a little bit. But he bred out the ass, and that's what it is. So please, y'all, stop asking me that because I see y'all doing that. Y'all keep asking me about that dog, man. Don't ask me about that dog when I come here every time. That dog, his owner was good people. He was cool, you know, a likable dude and everything. All them dogs didn't go in the best hands. You can't really tell his production. Some people got good stories. Some people got bad. That's going to be with any bloodline. 
if y'all ask if y'all ask about a dog, I don't care if it's Garner, all his puppy peddling, all his hung papers and everything. If you choose to go get something from him, make sure you know somebody that knows something and go deal with them. You know, I ain't got nothing bad to say about no dog, man, because I understand that that's how it go. Every man have, I don't care what you do in life. Every man have different experiences with other men. That's just how it is. You know, so I just, that's, that's my, that's my whole spiel on that. Oh, yeah. No, I'm Let me see. Um, well, it's weirdo in the chat, man. Um, what's up, these dudes from these ghost accounts? Yeah. I, don't know what the, I don't know what the obsession is, man. Like, I'm going to wait every Sunday for this shit. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, now they, uh, you know, they don't got that spark, so they want to come over here and try to, you know, I mean, because they see a lot of people, you know, they get that that YouTube famous shit from the bullshit and the controversy, and people look at that as, like, effortless. Like, I can just be myself and be an asshole and get up on here and hating, and I don't have to have no morals or principles and shit. And I possibly could get famous faster than putting in hard work like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Putting in, you know, good lectures and research. And, you know, like if you want clout, that's how you get it. You know, not mm -hmm. coming over here trying to get air from us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because all you're going to get is a $5 foot long. Pick me, <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> onion sandwich, bitch. <laughs> hey, go my guy right there. What's up, cousin? <laughs> what up, cousin? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, going with the bullshit, man. We ain't but buying it. What up, bro? You, you back. Uh, did, did we catch you on the one? Uh, on the food my, one. The food my, one got to get around, on. Yeah, my. Oh, yeah. I, I was in on that. I put my answer in the chat. Like, uh, I agree with what y'all said. Plus, uh, Eli was tapping on some good points. You know, check check them out. Make sure ain't nothing wrong internally with him. He ain't got no infections or nothing like that. But if everything is everything, he just ain't fucking with the food you feed him. I said try, you know, pieces of raw chicken breast mixed in with his kibble and shit, you know, or ground beef. Mix that shit in so he can't just eat around it, you know. Some dogs just picky eaters. You know, sometimes they don't like that shit you feeding them. But that was my answer. Uh, for the uh bitches, though, what I like to do is like from the time I breed them, like say I breed them that first day, I just made my house dog until I wean the pups. You know, and that's how I build that bond with them from that first day I bred them. You know, they ain't going back out on the yard. You know, I got a little spot in the crib for them and shit. Ain't no other dogs by them. They can't hear no other dogs. Nothing. It's just they on cool little spot. And before I put a dog even on the chain, you know, he already going to be house trained anyway. You know, I don't like having to house train a fucking grown dog. It's way easier to house train a puppy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I want to bring the bitch in and shit. We just start bonding from there. Like one of y'all said, you know, be careful, you know, to watch where you walking your pregnant bitch and shit. You don't want her to track no Giardia, Parvo, or mm -hmm. Coxidia back. And with that, I like to use the fucking uh, email for that, you know? Nice, steady pace. And she inside in a clean environment still, but she's still getting her exercise. Because out here, like I always say, fucking Parvo, Giardia, or Giardia, Coxidia, all that shit is damn near year-round, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be fucking around playing with a bitch you value enough breed. Yeah. Bitch yeah. get sick and lose all the pups and shit. So them just my little tips and tricks that I use to keep the bitch bonded. And if she do have a big litter, like if I see she fucking all crazy big, I go and buy some of them little hamster gerbil feeders, you know, or whatever kind of dining goat milk mix I mix up for the pups. That way everybody could eat. And I don't got to fucking, you know, be in there rotating her pups out, you know, stressing her out. Just coming in there fucking with the pups. They could just pull up to that nipple and, and suckle like they would on her teeth. 
Hey, hey, uh, y'all, I'm gonna get with y'all in a minute, man. I gotta head out here early tonight, man. I gotta get ready to do this little promo thing, man. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna get with y'all in a minute, man. Oh, yeah. All right, family, be good, bro. Salute. Stay dangerous. Yes, indeed. Uh-huh. Salute, bro. Peace. Yeah, yeah. I see some. I see people talking about uh, the pups and introducing them to uh, water and, and and food. One thing for me with with pups, I probably introduce my pups to food when they start walking and opening their eyes. I start introducing them to water and food. Then, you know, yeah. in little in little spurts. And I like satin balls. I like the satin balls, the ground meat, egg, oatmeal, uh, uh, molasses with uh, red seal. All, all mixed up together. I like, I like that, and I like to put a little missing link in there. You know, I like to introduce them with the with the satin balls uh, uh, to uh, like a raw feed, and I like to uh, put the colostrum and goat milk, like you were saying earlier. I like to put that in, uh, 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 like for one of their little meals, just liquid for them to drink and everything. And introduce them to the and introduce them to the water too. Uh, uh, warm water and start bathing them too because once I start feeding raw, I don't want them getting all dirty in there and having all that, you know, bacteria on there, which I know that mama gonna clean them up and all, all that stuff, but that's around the time that I start washing them up and everything, you know, that's around the time. Earlier, I don't start washing them up just for the simple fact that their mom cleaning them every day before they start turning on to actual food. They poop. She cleaning all they poop up. When they start eating actual food, she not gonna clean their shit like that no more. So that's one of my little things right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You get to the bottom of this chat. Uh-huh. Yeah. Rails kennels. Real dog man in the house. Shit, I ain't even hip to the land shark blood. I ain't never even heard of that. Yeah, me so neither. I couldn't even tell you. You know, I, I be blood. minding my business so much and business is doing so great that I don't be knowing. <laughs> yeah, that 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 shit right there. I I seen that name before, but I wouldn't know of nothing about their blood or nothing, nothing like that. I seen that. Hell name yeah. Once. I mean, I shit, I shit. appreciate when everybody be asking, but, you know, uh, a lot of fucking dog men and dogs out there that we don't know, you know? It's and just, the, real, it's like the that. real shit about it is some of that shit, you can't really just, like, you can't speak on that because that's not even, like, your dogs to speak on or something like that. Like, we yeah. going to confirmation shows and going doing weight pulls and stuff like that. Some of the stuff that, uh, uh, some of the stuff that's, that's actually out here, some of the stuff that's actually out here, we ha- don't have no association with. So we can't yeah. really speak on all. We can't really speak on everybody' bloodline and what they do with that uh, with that type of stuff. Sometimes you gotta have tunnel vision on your own actions and what you got going on. You know, you it can't only that, them. but like real serious dog man ain't all super friendly with everybody. Yeah, you know, you we we real competitive. Yeah, so you know. That shit might be super cracking and popular, you know, where it comes from, but it might not never see the light of day out here, bro. You know? There's not no knock on the blood. It's just, you know, competitors, you know, that shit it'd be fucking where it's at. It's hard yeah. to get, you know, real good blood sometimes. So, shit, mm-hmm. I ain't seen enough red nose in Victo dogs to even talk about the black ones, you know? I probably right. fucking seen and touched with my own eyes in real life. What four of them? <laughs> you know, you can't that really blood. just make a call. You know, yeah, it's not prevalent out here. Plus, like, I base my judgment on if I seen at least like seen. When I say seen, I mean you know, in my possession, I touched, I worked with them, all that. At least ten dogs before I could even say, you know, this shit is what it is or this shit is what it ain't. And it take a lot of fucking time and work and patience to go through 10 dogs to even get an assessment on a good quality bloodline, you know? And like mm-hmm. you said, though, what worked for you might not work for me and vice versa, you know? Yeah. We could go breed to the same male on the same day with litter mate sisters, and you know, your litter might be outstanding and my shit might be garbage. Hey, I can't fucking talk. base, you know, that male off of my fucking shit. 
just because it didn't work for me. But you got the bitch litter made sister, and on paper, the dog's bred exactly the same. And your shit is excellent. You know, it's a little bit more complicated than just, you know, I've seen one or two dogs off that shit and they trash. One thing I one thing I learned is generalizations in dogs can take you to a place where you where you so subjective, where you just breed yourself in a corner, lead yourself into a corner where you're not really even going in the right direction. Anything that you do with dogs, man, be objective. You know, that means stick to the facts, stick to what you know, stick to to examining the facts. If somebody ain't got those dogs, we can say what we heard all day long. But if you ain't talking to somebody who got those dogs or got uh, or got that, you really ain't talking about nothing. Be objective. When you go to go get a dog, if you can do your research with somebody else that has those dogs or you can get them from a good a, a, a good representation go get them from a good representation don't take my word on it shit i might have had a bad experience but if it's a good representation over there it's going to be different than the, the, than my experience i it's somebody that has some maverick dogs that they love it's somebody that said man i would never buy a fucking maverick dog in my life again boy that shit was trash you can't judge an entire line of dogs by one person's yard, and you can't judge an entire line of dogs by one or two breedings and and, and and some hearsay. You go if you like that stuff, you go find the working stuff because percentages are different from yard to yard. What Buck have, his stuff is gonna be different than what somebody else have because he put his standard on it. He put his stamp on it. You know, he might have bought it. He might have took the time to select select everything that he wanted, and he might have a selection a uh, 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 program right now that is just top of the line of something that shit. Motherfucker think it's trash. You know, don't don't, don't 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 make us talk. Don't make us talk down on people's bloodlines, man. We not into that. You know, we not into the little and the dogs and stuff. Just a community that's supposed to draw everybody together. Now, don't get it twisted. If I got some experience with it and that shit is ass, I will tell you, too. Tell you you in a heartbeat. Yeah, don't never get it twisted. But a lot of the shit, honestly, you know, I might know how it's bred, might know dogs up close in the pedigree, but a lot of times I don't know that dog, that camp, you know. I'm not friendly with motherfuckers like that, even if they could be all around cool, good guys. Like the brothers that be on the panel is just, I'm not a friendly motherfucker like that. So I ain't trying to be everybody friend and see what they got. Now, if it's good shit, I ain't going to knock your shit. But if I didn't try some shit and like really tried it and put the time mm-hmm. and effort in it in his ass, I'm going to let it be known that shit is ass. It ain't work for me. Some it people like work for you. Some people like what they got and some people like what everybody else got. Exactly. So if you, just, yeah. if you like what you got, it's like, if it, and it's good, ride it out. You know, and what I'm on saying? the flip side, if you don't like what you got, make it to where you fucking love it. You know, some dudes put the work time in and make that shit fucking crack. It I is, you know, shit. I seen Hell a dude yeah. go through fourteen. I seen a dude go through fourteen dogs to get two good to get two good ones, and then change the whole fucking line around. I'm talking about percentages change and everything. He and it wasn't that all fourteen of those dogs were horrible dogs. It just was like, uh, this was not. This one don't have enough ability, agility. You know, this one confirmation sucks. So this one undershot. You know, this one, uh, uh, uh it, it don't have the drive and work that, uh, that I this want. This one just might be a fucking mutt. You know, you might know. have everything you want, but he a mutt. You just. At that point, you know, you got to go and be serious about what you're looking at. It's yeah. about how you want to take your breeding program to the next level. Because if you set yeah. your standards high and stick to them, a couple years, man, it's going to be like you just said. He took, you know, two out of 14 dogs and fucking yeah. flipped the shit around and got it cracking. Yeah, that shit around. I mean, cause like you, uh, I see Ark uh, Survival said in consistency. I'm one of those people that believe in consistency. Consistency and uh, and percentages will show a whole lot. 
I can't, a, a whole bloodline will not be told in one yard. It will not, the story of a whole bloodline won't be told in one yard. You find the people that's serious. You find the people that's, that's doing what, making it do what they do. And you're going to find that, you're going to find that bloodline in good hands. A good Hell dog. yeah, plus the game is crucial and it might take a while, but the weak bloodline get filtered out, man. You know, mm-hmm. like you see Jesse Ross shit cracking, but you don't see too much vengeance shit cracking now, do you? Just for that's an example, that, you that's know, a good example. the game is going to filter itself if the people don't start filtering it, you know, for the game. So it's going to always fucking, the bullshit going to always get pushed out. It might take longer for some lines than others, but bullshit lines don't stick around because when serious people get them and see they bullshit, who you going to believe? The motherfucker <laughs> you got it from or the motherfucker who be competing, you know? Who, who, who is this Nicholas Williams, man? He said, Buck, pick one out my litter and I'll sell it to you. Yeah, he crazy. Shout out to <laughs> Nicholas Williams, man. He been wanting to shout out the whole couple shows, bro. Salute to Nicholas Williamson, man. Here go your shout out, man. You know, <laughs> you gonna make me buy it? It was like I, I didn't get that. Oh, uh, like, huh? Pick this dog and I'll sell it to you. You know, I don't even hey, like this shit or nothing, huh? <laughs> uh, you ain't get a pedigree. Oh, <laughs> uh, like, oh hey, man, don't worry about having bread, man. Shit. Just go on and pick that buckskin black mask with man. Send me fifteen hundred. <laughs> Uh, nigga ain't supposed to pay it, nothing. A pay ID number, like nothing. No accolades, nigga. Damn. I do really fucking with you, bro. Don't take it serious. It's fucking all jokes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, please. Hey, don't take it serious. Oh, yeah. Hey, but no, I was through last time, you know, he said it wasn't him, so. I uh, like to publicly rescind all the shit we was talking about that brother because he said it wasn't him. It was a troll account. Oh, you no. Know? And oh, yeah, I can't do nothing but go off what he said. If it was where it wasn't, he said he wasn't. So I'm going with that. Man. So I'll retract all the dick me sandwiches I offered you and come up the top <laughs> rope on your mind. I apologize for that too. I mean, no disrespect. Really? Thought you was coming in here being disrespectful. You know, I I, I don't pick dogs by colors. Huh. You said what type of dog you like? I like dogs with big bones, good conformation. You know, nice scissor bite. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a confirmation show type dude, and and uh, how you how how you would say confirmation meets form type yeah, dude. So if uh, I want to go hunt, you know? exactly. So if I want to go hunt and 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 have uh, wild boar dogs and stuff, they need to be matching the confirmation. I'm a show dude. So that's the type of thing for me. You know, as far as color. Genetics are there, it don't matter the color to me. Huh. Now bitch is a different story. Cause I like a long hair thick red bone. <laughs> Nicholas said what type of Nicholas said, what type of look are you looking for? What do you say? What type of that's what I was just answering that one. Man, I I don't go by that, but I don't go off the look. You know what I'm saying? Nicholas, how long have you had dogs? Yeah, that's a good question. And what type of dog? What uh? What type of dogs do you have? I like I like you to uh kind of share a little insight, just just so I can get a uh a gauge of some of the questions that you ask me. How long have you had dogs, and um, uh, what uh what what type of dogs do you have? If you don't mind sharing. Yeah, no, nah, he should he should answer. He he's been in there. Yeah, he been active. I see he been active in the chat. He didn't have, he didn't shared a couple little things yeah no nah, we appreciate everybody that's up in here i mean if you if you want some bullshit that's fine too because you know we're gonna uh eat uh <laughs> rams <laughs> rams got you you know if you're on that oh baby. yeah we're we gonna straighten you out man but if you're serious <laughs> you, you know you're learning you know we're gonna straighten that out too get you on the right mm-hmm. path either way you're trying to go yeah, so we're gonna we we gonna be entertaining because I I've been waiting to clown somebody on here. You know what I'm saying? So, well, it's 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 whatever. You say he sound like he trolled. <laughs> Marcus the Great, man. That's what I was. That's what I was thinking. 
I don't know what he's doing because he ain't really just like. I just want to kind of get a perspective for his mindset because I don't want to send him no link because I don't want to really sit up and talk with him if he's just trolling and bullshit and he can yeah. just type what he need to type and we'll, we'll understand. Oh man, I ain't want to call him the man bitches. And shit. Yeah. I ain't want to call him the man bitches. And shit. God damn. I'm just hey, saying, the man. chat went the chat went savage on him real fast. <laughs> Oh, they went savage. Shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The <laughs> chat, the chat gotta go in on these dudes, not us. <laughs> like we don't want that to yeah. say. Hey, the chat, please. You know, oh you man, say this dude talking about some right. let him get a promotion. All right, bro. You you yeah, you you <laughs> you, in you on just said <laughs> he said let him get a promotion. <laughs> hey, I can't even entertain it, man. So y'all ask y'all next question so we can go ahead <laughs> so we can go ahead and proceed with this. Yeah, I That's just made him famous. Question. I clapped him. He famous now. <laughs> <laughs> Man down. Hell yeah. <laughs> famous now for getting killed on the live. <laughs> him going to the upper room. Uh, put that on your resume, champ. Uh. We uh, um, East Texas is good land, Ashanti. East Texas is a good land, good good farmland, good trees. East Texas is a good land. <laughs> yeah, what's the regulations down there? You know, um, they use the shit like back pocket laws, and they go from county to county. And uh, city to city, like Fort Worth, you can't tether at all. You, yeah. You're not supposed to tether at all. But they don't ne necessarily always uh, enforce all of that. You know, Dallas, uh, I think they got tethering laws too, but it kind of go back and forth. Certain places in the city, you can only have five animals. Other places in the city, you can have as many as you can house. You know, it just you got municipals that are within that are within the city, within the county, and everything that do things a little bit different. You got back pocket BSL laws where they say, "Oh no, they'll come to you and say, oh, you have to have your you have to have your all your females if you have more than fifteen. All your females have to be uh uh neutered, or if you don't have this paperwork, your 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 your, your animals need to be neutered. So it just depends on where you are and and uh, what laws they enforce, you know, some people could choose to go the route of, uh, getting, uh, um, licensed kennel, you know, where they actually do tax write-offs on, 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 on a kennel name and everything for all the feed and everything that they, that, that they feed all year round. And the government is subject, uh, subject to come out and check your yard anytime they, any, anytime they please. But just because they have that right there, they kind of get a little bit more leniency because well, yeah because like, you you know you contribute money to the system you know mm -hmm. you part of the machine at that point once you go on and get your kindling license make it a business so yeah and it'd be point, like you know, this, they ain't fucking up the revenue is that and it'd be one of them things where it's like oh you have nothing to hide you know even if you gave your cousin a few dollars down the street you know and but you keep your main 15 right here you know, they come to check on those 15. Exactly. Yeah. Me and uh, Buck was uh, talking uh, about this on the live the other day, so I ain't going to chop too much on it. I want y'all to hear it, but that shit is important to get. Get all your legalities in order first, and you can really, really in their face tell them to eat a fucking dick me sandwich. Get the fuck off my property, bitch. I've seen it and done it, because I got a killing license. And I only got two fucking dogs right now. I still pay that fucking annual fee for it, though, just so I can tell them, <laughs> suck the back of my dick, bitch, before I Damn. slam the door in their face. Shit, this America, everybody love, love tax write-offs. Hey, exact the moon, though, you know? There's ways to fucking get paid off your business, man, you know? Start your kennel up, LLC, and hire yourself as an employee. So you get dogs shipped in or you ship dogs. Guess what? Tax write-off. 
Go to these shows, have fun, man. Learn, Hell meet more yeah. people. Learn to learn the BSL laws. Learn the groups and stuff that's around your neighborhood. Learn the laws that's in in your area. Like Buck was just asking, that was a good question. You know, what up, Tony Montana? Say hello to the bad guy, man. Hello, bro. <laughs> the you last know. time you gonna see a bad guy like me. Man, I just want to say, uh, 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 Hardy Boys, Pennsylvania, uh, Ashanti, uh, 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 Hamza, man, all y'all, all y'all that, 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 that support and appreciate the, uh, input that we have on everything, man, I appreciate y'all, man, because y'all come through, y'all come through all the time. Oh, hell yeah. Soul Power, ask how many times a day do you put your dog on the bill? Out here where I'm at, it's always hot, so at least once a day, you know, usually in the hottest part of the day because I keep it inside in the AC so they can still get their work and, you know, they can go for their evening walks and their fucking early morning walks without having to burn the fucking bottom of their pads off. So for me, it's once a day because I like to keep them in shape. And even on times when, you know, I had 10 dogs, I was still put in the effort to make sure they all got their exercise at least once a day. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. For me, I, I don't, I mean, right now I'm being undead on, I ain't been, I ain't been putting nobody on no meals. I've been, they've been in the house. Well, I say they, my, my one meal been in the house and my little Yorkie, they in the house together and shit here. I, every once in a while I pull them out and go walk them, take them for a walk. But I just been feeding them good right now. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't got number one house dog anyway. So, and well, yeah, just, shit, that walk gonna be line. good for me though. Shit, I'll mm -hmm. fuck around, and start getting fat around this bitch, and it'll be fucking getting his exercise on and shit, smoking this good old <laughs> Gorilla Glue number four and this Blackberry Cushy shit, <laughs> having to go chill mode. So that shit actually, you know, helps keep me in shape too. So that's mm -hmm. another reason why I make sure my dogs get their exercise in. Yeah, I like I like walks. I like I like I honestly I had got to the point where I would go I would go walk. That nigga say what real man talk about dick meat sandwiches? A motherfucker telling you you a faggot <laughs> for for doing some whole ass shit, coming in here acting like a fucking faggot, asking some uh, dumb ass questions. That's uh, what the nigga telling you. Uh, if you do some gay ass shit, you get a dick meat sandwich like a gay ass nigga. That's hell yeah. That shit. And that's the most disrespectful <laughs> shit I can think of besides spitting on the nigga mama in front of him to tell him <laughs> on the internet since I can't in real life slap a motherfucker in the mouth for acting like a bitch around me. That's really how I am in real <laughs> life. That's why I don't hang around a bunch of motherfuckers. I got a bad problem with slapping motherfuckers down. And don't mind fighting, win or lose, you know? We can scrap every time. So, yeah, that's what type of nigga. And you can have a complimentary dick meat sandwich, too, on your way out the door. <laughs> I shouldn't even see it now. I'm just looking at that shit. Like, dick meat. <laughs> hey, hey, it's not hard yeah, raising that dog with a, with a Yorkie, honestly, because shit, he was there when he was a little puppy, man. So shit, I walk them together and everything. I, my 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 gang dog, he scream at everything that 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 come past. You know, that's not that little Yorkie. He don't give a fuck about it. You know, he still act like a gang dog, but they pack animals. It's a dog. They're a pack animal. You introduce them to shit, and 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 they're around it. They get used to it. You know, if they have a bad experience with it and they turn on, you gotta watch out for it. You know, this just something that happened. So they just been around each other, but. This male still act like a ram T. Shit, this motherfucker act like a fucking, like a bulldog. It ain't no different from him. I had, just like uh, Gamble's Virgil or something like that, where he can walk around and chill. He got good sense, you know. Do I watch yeah. for, for certain little shit? Hell yeah, I watch for certain little shit. And usually house dogs be like that, you know, the Virgil type of dog where you can take pretty much anywhere. I right? ain't saying just let them run around the dog park off the leash. No, but absolutely not. You know, know you can walk can Virgil in the fucking fence more than he ain't going to be screaming down the whole store trying to get everything, you know, just because he got enough sense from being raised in the house like that. So, you know, if you got a dog, you know, and that's that one you like. Try making them house dog, you know. I know, you I know. enjoy it. 
that's one thing I know I can't do. I can't walk this motherfucker around. Nothing that little Yorkie is 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 his little pal, his little buddy. Everything else, that shit is off limits. Like, no, he don't. He, he act like a bulldog. But that little Yorkie is his little buddy, and he 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 chill with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is, man. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. A little bit of that digging the crate. You guys go check that one out. That's that. Uh, that was one of them Saturday streams. That uh, bulldog fever. Go check out the full one before I uh, put him back in the vault. You dig? Fuck around and put him on back in the vault, man. This is Buck City. What we've been doing? What we've been doing, man? I got another one rolled up. Eight. I went eight. Every man, it's little man. You know what I'm saying? Got him chilling. What's happening? I'm trying to hear from y'all. I'm trying to see what's good today. Salute everybody in the chat. Core Lester Selman in the building. Nine twat. Nine child. Nine nine nine. Echo, salute everybody in the building. You're rocking the building. One crew in the building. Fat Farm Ray in the building. Quick FC7 in the building. We getting it in, y'all. Damn fool rolled up. What up, brother? What's going on, y'all? Norod, champion gambler. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Go check out that Bulldog Sunday live stream. We went up. Went up yesterday. Got it in. It was a good Sunday. You know, salute to everybody that's out there doing those dog shows, especially. Reach out to me if you got some of those nice pictures you want me to put them in the magazine. It's easier to just give me permission to do it than it is to uh, me have to look for you if I like your picture or whatever, you know. Either way, there's going to be some things I'm going to put in there, some things I ain't, you dig? But hit me up on IG if, you, if you're if you hitting up those dog shows, if you're trying to get it in you know we can get it going that's that's really what i really want to get going because that's when you're going to see the best dogs of course we want to have the organic dogs on there that are not worked you know i think it's a good balance but there needs to be some chiseled up dogs chiseled up you know what i'm saying i mean maybe not this chiseled like this beast right here but you know we can we can get there we can get there um you know i mean <laughs> that's no work right all that's no work at all right there pretty much you know got a nice little muscle tone shoulders and shit you know real decent but so we i mean we like it all in between but incredible hulk status you know we want to do that also that war pony mafia myers breeding just went down so if you're trying to get on with that that's what the ig and you know all of that i can put you right in the billing right in the billing you know what i'm saying war pony mafia myers i showed you the pedigree you know this is thorough it's a thorough addition you know you'll have that blood you know it, it is that blood it's not some other shit. like i like to say you know the best made a shit, the best i mean you know you know and whatever it is and whatever it is you know i probably got both so i got another strain that that i like just as much that we've been crossing in with each other 
one more part just needs to get crossed in just to for sure got all the best in one. You know, we capturing genetics. We playing capture the flag. That's that's what we're doing, y'all. That's what we're doing. Salute to everybody that been supporting the channel. The super chats yesterday. We man, we got about ten super chats. Man, they they're gonna you know they're, I'm gonna get some hate from that. It's gonna be some dudes hating, but you know what? Keep the support up. That's what it's for. That's what we do this for. You know, we're still coming out with the content. You know, and and being there and you know going in giving you that real changing the trajectory of this shit man it's what we want to do at buck city so hit me up let's get those pictures of them dogs let's get them articles in let's get those ads in for the newspaper the uh the magazine, you know, let's get those ads in that joint. Rather, if it's some classified type shit or, you know, I mean, this is definitely worth hitting me up and just to see what's going on. And uh, it's about 10 o'clock on this side. I'm going to get uh, get on it. Got about yeah, seven calls that I'm I know I have to make and, and a bunch more. Um, you know that and that takes a whole day, bro. That takes a whole fucking day, man. You guys enjoy yours. And this is Buck City. I'm out.